Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. We are here at Boomtown Laboratories in Louisville, by gosh, Texas. I love this. Let's see here is the Green Machine. It's Sean 5042. It was a prototype. And basically, you got to take it apart. Got some of the magnets right here. And some more over in another spot. And we've got these. There's one of them. We ground it off so we just reset magnets, set it all in, get everything set up, and ground the plates a little more round. And here's one of them completed already. On this one here, as you can see, we went ahead and cast it all the way up, even with the magnets. I'm sure, you let me get the light reflected on this right, and you can see just how smooth and even across here we got this. And I got it hanging up here and painted with some nice oil base. Rust oleum red paint which we think is gonna hold up for quite a while now it looks like it changes color with the reflection off the wood door but there's the color a nice deep rich red look you can see myself in it and that's coming along pretty good I'll get you in a little bit more here we're gonna rebuild this one up to go on uh, on the VAWT that's sitting up on the roof and we're going to try it out on the two-stage oscillator. Down here we have the axial flux that we've been working on for the uh, dual permanent magnet rotor axial flux wind turbine. i got both of them with a doggone three-quarter inch piece of plywood between the two. It's still going to be hard to get across, but we got them sitting here. There's the green machine. And right there, along with the stuff I brought along with me, is the uh, other axial flux wind turbine. We're going to clean up some welds and do all that on that, but that's the other video. Right now, we're taking care of this. Okay, here's the top of the stator that came with this that got broke during shipping. Nothing of uh, Sean's fault at all. Anyway, well, I've already. Uh, what I did is I put aluminum foil tape around it and over the bolts that uh, are on the other side that are terminals. And we went ahead and poured some uh, fiberglass resin down in the crack, bent it so it a few times back and forth, not much because I don't want to break the wires, and made sure that all the air was out of that crack. And then I put aluminum foil tape over it, and now it is bonded, and it is very strong once again. So this is, this is taken care of. Right here is the other side of it. I did sand a little bit just to get some of the high spots off and everything. Like I said, this was a prototype. So anyway, we've got these all set up here. I might take the tops off these screws, seems now they will not turn. It's been recasted, and I'm going to go ahead and use little nuts. That should take care of that. Okay, I picked the prettiest color yellow that I could find here in the shop. Another Rust-Oleum fast dry, but it seemed to be taking a while. Might be something about the humidity. And we painted this. I'll show you a few little things that happened in shipping. Number one, which I didn't do a real good job of cosmetics. And I got some down here. I'll have to sand that off but anyway I repaired this dropped in shipping dropped in shipping this dropped in shipping here right there on the corner and there was one other spot that I just can't seem to locate you see a few air bubbles like it was said this is a prototype and I stress this mainly because the man did real good work the prototype means that it was wired to find out how many amps and volts and how much power to get a certain result and basically this thing puts out phenomenal power for the size that it is. It's a 10 inch rotor, 12 magnets, one and a half inch by three quarter inch by half inch thick and the other rotor will be the same. I've tested all the connections, the connections are all good. This is great. This was sold to us Basically for the materials, very low price, I can't discuss that, but it was sold to us as the materials for something to build up and rebuild. And it wasn't really made as a ready ready build uh, to go ahead and use. We're going to put it on Boomer's two-stage oscillator as the generator to find out how much uh, electricity or how much uh, power we can get out of that thing. It's an over-unity science project and also another prototype. Or we're gonna, he's got another prototype that's sitting up on the roof, and it's a VAWT that he, that he built. And, eh, it's his first VAWT. I think it'll work real well. We're thinking about supporting it with this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cast this other stator, go through the 
process of setting the magnets, getting those straight, and showing you how to line them all up. And cast that. Okay, well I thought the camera was on. What I did is I took this. This had 60, 60, po uh, 60 points on it. This is for uh, cutting into ceramic. But anyway, it had 60 points. I divided by 5 and I made 12 dots on each one of the little slots on there. Also, took an OPEC paint marker and I put a dot even with this and even with this, dead center. Then I lined a ruler up on the side. Sorry we missed this footage. Put the ruler on the side with the paint marker touching to find out where it would sit. And then I drew the line all the way across. I did the same thing over here. Then I laid this down to where this line met up with the cross line and the one over here and set her down and drew the rest of my marks and finished drawing all the way straight across. Now I went over to the other uh, magnet rotor and I took a magnet to find out what the polarity is and I lost it. So you can see it has a little bit of a pink on it and uh, I finally got it off without tearing up the other stator. But anyway, I marked this orange on the side that tried to stick to the other magnet because this is what you want. You want your mag the south side of the other magnet facing the north side of this magnet so that the magnetic flux runs straight through. In other words, they'll be attracting each other. And I lined it up dead center of my line and dead center of my line here. Then I also looked down at the side of the magnet to make sure that it lined up exactly here. And we're going to do the rest of them off of this one. And this is super glued down and ready. Okay, we're going to get after the rest of the magnets. Here we go. I'm sticking this to one nail that's hanging from this board over here. That way it's much easier to get off. And this in the back of my hand, right here it's repelling. Push down and it pushes up. That means it's right for this slot here. I'm drop super glue, still repelling. So this side goes up. Set this down on the edge. Slide it on up here. Making sure I'm looking down the line here. Push this in. I'm seeing the line dead center here and now it's straight and lined up with the other one. Let's go to the next magnet. I'll go ahead and put my super glue on now. I figure that might be a little easy. Pulling. That's repelling. Good. This side up, off the edge, come up, push straight in, look down my line, make sure it's right, make sure I'm in the same. That's perfect. Next, that's pulling, that's repelling. That's what I want. Drop super glue. There we go. Sit it down, slide it on, guide it straight. Back of my hand, that's pushing. That's pulling, pushing, pulling. Good. We're all in good line. This is where this one goes. I'll drop super glue. Get it lined up, push it in straight. Yes, we're lined up. Next. Alright, that's pulling. That's repelling. Good. These are one and a half by three quarter wide by one half inch thick. Perfection. Next. Yeah, don't try hitting these with a hammer. <laughs> that would not go over very good. That's repelling. On the edge. Put my thumb on the edge of it to keep this back end from sliding. Slide it up and try to steer the other end. Let's set. Next. Part of my hand. That's pulling. Flip it over. Repelling. Super. Line it up where it's dead center. Steer the other end. Push in. So like okay. Another drop. In my hand. That's repelling. That's good. So over here. If you make a mistake, what you can do is hit these with a rubber mallet and knock them out the first time. Not to worry. Oh, that's pulling. And that's repelling. Give it a quick check. Pull, repel, pull, repel, pull, repel, pull, repel. Everything's set good. No mistakes so far. Here we are. Guide it in. <clears throat> and, uh, perfect. So 
Sounds good. Next. Two more. Yeah. Last magnet's an easy one. I don't have to separate it. Here we go. And a palm. That's repelling. Boy, repelling good. Set. And slide it up. And that's perfection. Last one. Repelling, repelling, pulling, repel, pull, repel, pull, repel, pull, repel, pull, repel, and this one is where it's supposed to be. Up on the edge, slide it up, guide it in straight. Two thumbs and push it just fine. There. And not exactly lined up at this end. There we go. Tap, tap back that way. Gotcha. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Okay, well I've mixed eight ounces of resin. I'm ready to pour this in. I've got a little bit of caulking around the inside and I've got the two bands of aluminum foil tape around the edge. And we're ready to cast this one. I'll pour equal all the way around first. I'm pretty sure this table is unlevel, but I remember the level for the last one that we did, so I'm going to stick a nut up under the edge of it. There we go. Need every bit of you. I scraped the sides real good when I mixed this. And that's something I really stress it should be done. Let's get this stuff off the table here. like evening out the ice cube tray. There we go. Well, I think I have an equal portion on all of this. This should be done. And what I did last time was to pick this up. <coughs> Check it with the level. We found out that that right there is level. Alrighty, now what all it is is just to sit and wait. Got a little bit too much here. Let's see if I can get it to pour over. That looks pretty good. A little bit more. Sir. That looks sweet. Alrighty, that's cast. Just gotta let it harden up. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to do in your life.